Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today to represent the Transportation Department of the Government of Canada, and I'm here today to release the latest strategic plan, Transportation 2030. Green and innovative transportation is one theme under Transportation 2030. This is the government of Canada's strategic plan for a safe, secure, green, innovative, and integrated transportation system. Our goal for this theme is to improve Canadians' lives by using new technologies and reducing the environmental impacts of transportation, including greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. To develop this plan. The transportation department used a bottom-up approach. In 2016, we consulted Canadians about our transportation system. Here's what they told us about environment and innovation. First, <clears throat> we should design public policy tools for a longer time frame. We don't have to invest all capital for green transportation. But we should let those with capital get a return on their investment. Second, incentives and regulations can reduce carbon pollution. Also, incentives and regulations can get people to use more efficient modes of transport, such as rail and marine. <clears throat> What's next? Incentives and regulations can encourage the use of new technologies. Third, pollution should be reduced in all modes of transportation using options such as alternative fuels and electric power. Fourth, we should focus efforts on trade corridors and shared ways of moving goods and people. Finally, regulations should support innovation and economic development while maintaining safety. For example. Remotely piloted aircraft system RPAS, also known as drones, largely benefited from regulating flexibility to test specific technologies. So, where should we go from here? To meet our goals for making transportation green and innovative, we have made the following commitments. First, work with provinces and territories. To support a low carbon transportation system. Second, promote ways transportations can adapt to the changing climate, especially in Canada's north, where thawing permafrost affects the efficiency, safety, and maintenance of infrastructure. Third, continue to seek the right balance in regulating remotely piloted aircraft system technology. So the following results can be achieved: RPAS continue to help advance scientific research, exploration, infrastructure inspections, wildlife and land service, delivery to remote communities, natural resource and emergency situation management, rescue operations and videography, film and media uses. Also, RPAS regulations remote safety and for foster economic growth. Fourth, we commit to oversee VIA Rail Corridor Fleet Renewal Program by replacing its corridor fleet with Tier Four compliant locomotives. VIA Rail will achieve up to. Fifteen to twenty percent fuel efficiency improvement. Fifth, support the use of connected and automated vehicles and smart infrastructure to improve road safety, reduce congestion, increase mobility, protect the environment, and support economic opportunities for Canadian businesses. Finally, make sure our actions. Support work on government priorities such as Canada's Phase Two Infrastructure Plan, a Pan-Canadian framework on clean growth and climate change, 
a national innovation agenda. Now let's look at the support for this strategic plan in budget 2017. Budget, budget 2017 supports this work on green and innovative transportation. Related commitments include $56.9 million to develop greenhouse gas re regulations. Also, $17.2 million for, transpo for Transport Canada and Environment and Climate Change Canada to develop and implement heavy-duty vehicle re retrofit and off-road regulations, as well as a clean fuel standard. $6.4 million to assess the ability to, of federally owned roads, bridges, airports, and ports to withstand the effects of climate change and natural disasters. $6.9 million to continue the Northern Transportation Adaption Initiative. $120 million for electric vehicle and alternative fueling infrastructure. $76.7 million for connected and automated vehicle and remotely piloted aircraft system regulations, certification, standards, and testing. $229 million to support clean energy and clean transportation innovation programming. Thank you.